I'm gonna apologize in the beginning if you hear any festive uh, things in the background. Apparently there is a festival uh, close to where I live. And I tend to, I was like waiting until it got calmed down because it should stop in like an hour. But it only gets intense and intense and I don't have the time to record in an hour and I originally wanted to record Tadafil. But Tadafil is framework and I don't want to look at it now. So... I'm the big I'm the big with Tadafil. That thought, I had some adventure left in the back rooms. Uh, first and foremost, no, this is not going to be the last video on Escape the Back Rooms. If you remember last time, we escaped this hell of a level. And the entity in this level apparently works on sound base. He can't see you, but he apparently works on sound base. Uh, if you saw the last video, I got pretty triggered and was like, this level feels unfair. If you don't know what you're up against, then yeah, it can feel unfair. The only issue I really had with this level, uh, besides that I don't know how it worked in the thing, is the fact that the entity had the same sound. Uh, when it passed it by, passed by you, uh, on the, uh, it was like also the same as the moment you got echoed on you or wanted to attack. So that caused confusion and field affair, and that's the main reason why. But for now, we're in level 9223270, you know, the last level of the back rooms. Are you ready to climb some stairs with me? Because uh, Hudson here is like, no, I'm not gonna fly to you, I'm gonna fly you up to, to the top. Hey, he's like, uh, nope. Level 9223372, also known as the last level of the back rooms, is considered to be the true end of the back rooms, is it? Well, at this point, considered level 37, the true end, but we'll get that after the video. What's, which is the end, which isn't. Uh, Fancy released a video, another devlog, and he stated that he will be working on two more levels. So. getting louder and louder is it so let's get hop on with me into although most would say the back rooms are in the film those who know uh, about this level would this I agree let's say oh Level 1. Why is it frame lagging? Okay, wait. Uh... Let's make it medium so there's no frame lagging. Level 1. How big is this place? Pretty big. 2. You hear what's at top? I don't want to go on top. Level 3. There's something here which I have to look for, or. Level 4. If there's an entity on the stairs, I'm. I'd be pissed. Level 5. Level 6. I don't think there's anything special on these floors. Level 7. Wait, how... How high does this go? <laughs> Level 8. Level 9. Did I miss something? Wow. Hello? Hello? Someone up there? Level 10. And sir, they say you shouldn't be falling in this level because you keep falling in forever and ever, infinitely. No, I can't speak anymore. Level 11? There's nothing on these levels. Outside the level. Wait. 94? 11? 30. Is this an hint? I've still got to level 94. Oh well. Let's go to... <laughs> Let's go to 94 then. I hope you don't have height sickness. Oh. 
I the thing is with the festival it was outside in the city now. While we're like climbing these stairs to level 94 anyways. Because I don't have an editor, you're like, poof, I'm at level 94. <laughs> I'm my own editor. Uh, but let's talk about that festival. Like, I don't mind going to a festival, but you know what I don't get? Which may be me. But, uh... It's, it's been rainy this weekend. Do people really like coming to festivals when it's like rainy? Or festive? Or concerts? That are outdoors? Because I can't understand. And that's me. Infinitely, I think. I can't understand, and that's me, that people would just go outdoors in the rain, you know? To just like s listen to music. Like I'm lucky now that I can say indoors, but I'm not a I'm not a social <laughs> going to festivals festivals person either. Or concert. <laughs> so I wouldn't probably wanna get that, but it's you know I knew that it's the festival outside. Because uh uh well, I was like Friday, I was recording these guy games, or it was Friday evening and I heard them, and I was like, hmm. Then it started Saturday afternoon again. <sighs> 34 only. And, uh, well, I was Saturday, okay, wait, I heard it again. So I was looking it up, you know, to like, uh, like a festival in my city on like the 17th of September, or the 18th, was it today? And the 18th of September. And in that case, it's the 17th of September. And I got a festival name and a location, and the location was exactly where it was supposed to be. It was like, nice. No Miku? Miku number. Oh well. So that's how I know, and I like, I like the free music. It's like, okay, I can get it, festival. You know, the city has to do some, give some entertainment. And they're going to like half 11, 11 p.m. yesterday. While well, I was streaming yesterday, I had to like keep considering uh, with the festival. And. I was like, god damn it. You have to play Diva, well, that's, well, that's what you hear in the background. I don't like what's going up here. So, I was like waiting until it became a bit quieter, but it's only getting intense. <laughs> and then, you know what I hate the most part? It's like from 2 p.m. to like then 11 p.m. A festival, so you constant music, but most of the. St I live in a student neighborhood, so like after 11 p.m., it's not done. <laughs> after 11 p.m., the after party in the student floods go on. <laughs> uh, I hope that it doesn't happen this night, like. Uh, an after party in a student flat. Ah, uh, oh well. I usually, if I fall asleep, I usually sleep deep anyway, so it doesn't matter, but I have to go like up early tomorrow to get to internship at 7 a.m. Imagine while uh, well, can't sleep, uh, while you can't sleep, you know? Imagine while well, can't sleep, that you can't sleep and have to like wake up at 7 a.m. and you can't sleep until like 10, 1 a.m. or something like that because some people are like, ah, oh, let's have a party and then care for the neighborhood. I feel like I've I've considered uh I'm I'm living like in a student room. I'm on I'm on a student room, I live in a student room. And I've considered going like moving to my own house. But I live like in such a good place that like everything is in walking distance. And truly only the thing that made me uh, wanna move is Yeah the, the neighbors across street. They're a bit loud, see, but they're Polish. So I really hate those people. They're mo mostly the things that are loud and they do stuff like they make you question like why. For example, they have a bike. They have a motorcycle. Apparently it's broken because they fix it, but you know what they do? They pull the handle indicating, you know, that they want to drive when you like power up the motor and want to drive. And they make such a loud noise that the whole neighborhood can hear that they have a motor on. It doesn't do anything, they let the motor go for 20 minutes, 
and do it again 20 minutes later with no effect and no different effect and maybe a girl eh? and maybe want to be a girl or maybe am a girl but i don't get that like there's literally they pull the motor like if your motor is broke and it doesn't work and you pull your motor okay i get it but if you pull your motor and 30 minutes after engineering on your motor cycle and it doesn't do anything different change like you know the worst part is they like cycling they're engineering their motorcycle and they can still normally drive on them <laughs> that's what i don't get really hey nice number nice so that's what i don't get uh, those people make me like i want to move out actually but like i'm living like on walking distance from the station walking distance from my grocery store walking distance from everything almost since i study in a different city i don't I don't have to go walk to my school, luckily. But yeah, I'm mean, like, if I move like to my new, uh, for example, to my own rented house, because I have a, like, I probably have to get a side job, which in uh, difference make me that I don't get to make that much content creation anymore in videos. Uh, because I probably won't be able to pay rent with only my like a loan that I get from the government. I tried to get a side job, but I never, I never got one. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe I don't need to do content creation for a living. You can do content creation for a living, you know. I always believe. Like some people, of course, like X, uh, XQC or Koi, they make millions. They make millions off of Twitch, but or someone like me, I have to like, like probably get a side job as an engineer, as a software engineer, software engineer girl. I think getting cloudy. I'm getting cloudy. So. And yeah, I like I can move to a new house, get a side job to pay for the rent probably because my student loan is not enough. But what hap you know, what is gonna happen if I have to, like the same neighbors living across the street and I have to then like take a bus for 20 minutes to the train station or go on a bike to like the nearest grocery store for 20 minutes? Those thoughts like make me be like, yeah, I live actually in a good spot now. Almost a 94. Almost a 94. Almost. But I don't get the cloudiness. Infinitely! Ninety? So... Ninety-one? Like, I do live in the, in the city center, so... Ninety-two? Like, I want to live near uh, somewhere where it's like... More nature. I miss it. I guess I miss it. Ninety-three? Well, we're here, guys and girls. 94. Nothing happened. 95? What? Huh? I have to interact with the number. Oop. He made me that I spent 10 minutes walking up the stairs for nothing? I actually wonder what happens if you jump down. I don't want to walk up 94 stairs again. <laughs> I have a feeling it's, inf it's infinitely generated, as he said. But... Like... Logical thinking... The number said 94. Like, around... What, what was the number? 40? And logically thinking, there's only two ways. Either go further more up. Which I don't think it is because I've walked for 94 stairs. It is. Or down. Can I walk down the stairs or fall down the stairs? I guess it's cloudy here. What happens if you do this? <laughs> I'm falling! Help! My. Nineteen eighty, sixty, fourteen, thirty, thirty, fourteen, ninety-six, one, nil. Oh, escape! <sighs> oh, we did it! <laughs> like logically thinking, but never logical, never works. I thought actually it was that. Oh gosh! Gosh dang it! 
This is one of the levels uh, Fancy is working on, a liminal space, and I love it. This was level 923074 4. Or, blah blah blah. Like as long as like the less number of in an integer. I hope this isn't complicated. But I love this game. I love playing it. Like the only level that actually made me like uh, felt unfair. Was the the end? You can see it is shorter. I almost I almost felt like well when I was falling down the stairs like I almost felt like <laughs> like like I made a, made a wrong decision like with falling for infinitely but like if you think about it, it's only logical explanation explanation because uh, it became cloudy he didn't think that you were in the right way but he got to level ninety four nothing changed so you can either grow up which I've been doing for like. 94 stairs or go down. I, I could go down with the stairs, but you know, uh, as I said before the Mario, this is not the last of Escape the Back Rooms. Why? Fancy uh, announced in his latest death vlog on YouTube that he'll be working on two more levels the liminal space level you saw, and a level known as Kitty Room. Uh, I think it's called. I don't know which level the liminal space level is, but uh. Let me open my display capture for you. Uh, back rooms. Uh, for Kitty. Uh, Kitty's house here, this level. Level 974 is in the making. Uh, Produced is known as. Uh, level 975. Uh, level 974 appears to be a modular sized home with a pink theme throughout the interior. There appears to be no physical door leading to an outdoor area, and windows with a level sympathy reveal artwork. Depicting the one with typically see outdoors, expect with a noble cute theming to it. I do is find space only a few rooms that they can be accessed and explored in the level. The level will consist of a normal source bedroom, a master bathroom, two bedrooms, living room and a dining room with an attached kitchen. Plumbing and electricity function normally in level 974 and there is a decent Wi-Fi connection as well. These amenities have all been proven safe to use, as wanderers are encouraged to use them all in the level, as they may not account to another safe spot for a while. And this thing the quirk of this level is pink and pastel themed decor within the walls, furniture, and even the appliance all have notable style of decor. These items are often brand with familiar mascots from front rooms such as characters from San Rio and San X. And mainly consumable items you can you find because greasy marshmallows are various types of food typical seen in the front rooms. AKA real life. If you don't know back talk, uh, back, back, back rooms technology uh, terms, front rooms, we consider front rooms to be real life and back rooms, you know, to be the pocket dimension. Uh, only one known entity resides in level 974, the entity known as Kitty. Kitty is a 3.2 meter tall humanoid entity with uh, unnaturally long lanky limbs, which lacks hands or feet. The entity's skin is matte black and has a texture similar to that of leather. It also seems to lack a semblance of facial features, but assumed to be able to see, hear, and smell in the same way most wanderers can via toddler methods. When moving, Kitty travels smoothly and swiftly, often time surprising wanderers who are not aware of its existence, by appearing in close vicinity to them. And he has not yet to display any form of hostility, opting instead to walking wanderers, uh, opting instead to stalk wanderers as they explore a rest within level 974. And there is one more. Uh, is this level 94? No, is this. Is that level 94? Level 94? Level 94? I know there's like, uh, yeah, level level 974 and level 94 are being made. As you can see, uh, is it level 94? Is it level 94? Manage to have a phone because it has a little bit of the identity effect. No. Uh, back rooms. Hemanol. Houses. Need 553. In this level. Search for this level. Is this level 94? Oh, well, level 94 and level 97.4 are being made. Uh, with that, with that, with that, with enough background information for you, I'm going to say farewell. 
if you don't know who I am, I'm known as Hudson Gigi, Hudson Elise, or Elise, or Gigi, you can call me all of that. Uh, I primarily be known as Hudson Elise, or Gigi, Hudson Gigi, with Hudson Gigi still being my online name. Or I became transgender, and Elise being my transgender name. But with that, you can also hear that I'm a transgender girl. Hudson is primarily the name that I got to, to like, friends calling me, but I've decided to name it my pet taking Hudson, making it Hudson and Elise, you know. Uh, I have a Discord down below, in there you can uh, talk to me, I, the, I do respond to every comment, but um, Discord is the best place to talk to me. Also, I stream from time to time if you want to know when I'm live. Uh, you, you can check my Discord, in there I have a scheduled channel. Uh, I post there on schedule every Sunday, or I do post them on Twitter and Instagram also. And on Twitter and Instagram I also post an announcement on the day I'm going live. However, on Discord you can see when I'm live in your local time zone. So, did you know. Um, yeah, with that, my outro screen will contain a video recommended for my channel to you, that will be on the right. It will be based on what you watch a lot, so if you watch a lot of horror, it will be in one of my horror videos. If you watch a lot of rhythm games, it will probably be my Project Diva videos, so on, so on. If you don't like the video, I highly recommend going to my channel button in the middle and search for the Let's Play playlist. The playlist full of content I've done over the past few years should be in there, something for you, I know it. Uh, if, you, if you're a huge horror fan, I highly recommend checking out my 3 scary game playlist, also on my channel. And uh, all around the club bikini button, 2 great horror filled playlists, so you can keep, you know, keep, keep uh, entertained with that. Here for Project Diva content, since I'm known as Hudson Juju or Hudson Elise. I don't know at this point if I'm doing things or not. I'm thinking about it, but, you know, work. <laughs> uh, then make sure to check out my channel, there are several Project Diva playlists for your entertainment. You have to search around a bit, you'll find it. And on the left will be the Escape the Backrooms playlist. If you've seen any of the other levels, I highly recommend you do. With that, I'm gonna say, stay tuned for, for the more levels. Until then, wonderful day in the backrooms. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.